All right, so using Python, we've created some simple programs and some even somewhat not so simple programs that allow the user to make choices to get different areas or different chunks of text presented to them, like the About Python program or even like a coin flip or whatnot. But there wasn't really any math there. It was just dropping down some sort of character or symbol or number and then it giving us a response back if what they input matched something else. Now, that's fine, but programs can do other things too, and a lot of your more sophisticated programs will be using some form of math. And so we need to discuss math. Now, we don't have to use really complicated math, and we're not going to use really complicated math anytime soon. We're just going to talk about using some simple math, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Now before we get to that, we should talk about data types. Now we've already talked about variables with Python, so that's just some sort of value that Python stores, which could be like the number 34, or the word hello, or your name, or whatever. Now Python is very flexible, and Python is fairly forgiving and not very strict. And so if I make a variable called super awesome variable and I throw a 34 in there it's fine with that and it knows then that that variable represents the number or the integer 34 however if I then go in and change my variable super awesome variable into instead the word hello it says oh okay this is a string you want me to be a string now and it's okay with that it's fine it doesn't care that is not true of all languages. Just for comparison, I'm going to go into IntelliJ and show you what Java does. All right, so I'm just going to do a basic hello world, which I've created before. And here we have our hello world. So you can already see it looks different, right? Hey, go. Go down, yeah, that's fine. Go down there. You can see it already looks different. This is not what a hello world looks like in Python, but this is how it looks in Java. Um, now, it doesn't really matter exactly what it looks like. Basically, this is sort of the file. It's called a class. Inside of that, you have a main, which is what is actually going to run when this class is called to run. And inside of that, we have this system out print line hello world and so this right here does the same thing as our print hello world in Python does now right now we have a string in here but let's create a variable instead so I'm gonna create a variable so in Java it's a little different we have to specify the type of variable so I'm gonna create an int which is short for integer and I'm going to call it my super awesome variable and we're going to make it equal 34 and semicolon because you use semicolons in Java. All right, so right now it's gray because I am not using it anywhere. I've said it, but I've never actually used it. And so it's just letting me know. And that's just a function of this program. So I'm going to replace hello world here with my super awesome variable. And now if I run this, it should spit out 34. There we go, 34, right there. I'm running this in an IDE right now, and I know we haven't talked about IDEs. We've only been running stuff through the terminal and through text edit, and we're going to get to IDEs. We'll use the IDE provided by the same company later on. Now, what I can also do is I have it 34. It's an integer. What if I want to instead do... What if instead I want to make some changes to this? So I want my super awesome variable to equal my super awesome variable plus one right and so now if I run it it's now 35 right what if I want to change this though what if I don't want my super awesome variable to be 35 what if I actually want it to instead be my super awesome variable 
Maybe instead I want it to be tacos, because who doesn't love tacos, right? And it's already complaining. It's already not happy, because it's saying that, hey, you set an integer up here, and uh, I didn't find an integer. I found a string, so it's already unhappy. And if we try to run it, it's also not happy. So you can't mix text and integers in Java. All right, so if we put the one back and we run it, it's happy, right? But let's say we need a higher number than that, but 36 is just too high. We need something between 35 and 36, right? So we decide to throw on here 1.5 and decide to run it, and now we get this complaint here. And that's because this is an integer. It has no decimal places, no fractions or, or improper fractions or mixed numbers or whatever. It's just a solid integer. This, however, is not. And it's not happy mixing this with that. It's rather unhappy. And it's not going to do it. So types are important. Now if we do this in Python, so I'm just going to quit out of this, Python's not going to get near as angry with us. So if I launch terminal, make this a bit larger, I tell it I want to run Python interactive mode. And if I do my awesome variable, that's really long. I don't want to type that all, all, all the time. So I'm just doing my awesome var. And I say that this is 34. And now I say print my awesome var. It's cool with that. And if I say that my awesome var now equals itself plus one and I tell it to print again it's fine with that too and if I tell it that I want my awesome var to now equal 1.5 once again it's fine it knows that even though I had an integer here and I originally used an integer when I switched to this value here which in Python we normally call a float, in other languages there are some different types but we, we refer to them as floats in Python that that's what it was changing to and if I instead tell it now that my awesome var is a box of kittens it's okay, ooh, it, I sorry I forgot to put the quotes around it it's okay with that and if I print it it knows that it is now a string and it's okay with that. It can figure that out and it's okay with that. Java is not okay with that. And that's one such example between a more strict language like Java and a less strict language like Python.